The first thing she does is take two and a half cups of water, bring it to a boil, and to that she adds two tablespoons of olive oil, an entire bag of Vigo yellow saffron rice. And then she stirs it up. Mm. We put the top back on and let it simmer gently for about 20, 25 minutes. Now, while we heat up our pan nice and low, we go for half of a small onion or some spring onion or some scallion. Just a little bit of olive oil in the pan. We're gonna prepare uh, two cloves of garlic as well, or just one if it's a if it's a big one, like I have. All right, we're gonna finely mince. Well, it's not so much of a mince as it is a very thin slice of two cloves of garlic, or in my case, one big one. Let's saute our onion. Already smells good. Of course it does. That absorbed the oil pretty quickly, so let's put a little more. All right, after just two minutes of sweating the onions, we can add in that garlic. So this is the everyday national dish with Tia Sandra's own personal touch, of course. Now, normally I'm a big fan of uh, tomato paste in a tube. But in this case, the recipe calls for an entire half cup, which is a, a small container, so. I forgot, we need a little bit of green bell pepper while that is sauteing. She just uses half. Half a green bell pepper, okay. All right, step back, my friend. Tomato -y. An entire can of red kidney beans. Plus a cup of water. And a whole packet of Sazon Goya with culantro and achiote. So now we put in our chopped cilantro leaves. I would say that's half a cup. A tablespoon of red wine vinegar. We have a nice wet mixture here. And um, we're gonna cover it and just let it simmer for 15 minutes, which should be exactly about how much time you have left on your rice. Quite convenient. Rice looks great. See how our beans are doing. They look quite good. Let's have a little stir here. Nice. And let's try the rice. Right, the rice is really great. It needs a little bit of seasoning. And so I'm gonna put some pepper on it, <laughs> which is probably a great idea. And rather than salt, I thought it would be very Dominican to put some adobo seasoning, which is a lovely combination of oregano and turmeric and garlic powder and salt. So let's get this on a plate. And put your beans right on top. 